Burbank and Beyond dot com. Hi, I'm Deborah Dodge with Burbank and Beyond dot com. We are here on the Chandler bike path and we're going to ask Burbank residents what issues they feel that Burbank is facing today. We want to know what's going on in the hearts and minds of local Burbank people. I'm standing here with Mike and Ty Garrison. Mike, what issues do you feel like are facing you today in Burbank as a resident? Um, I think, you know, there's a lot of issues such as, um, you know, keeping the schools strong and uh, keeping their, the um, community safe. Those are ones that are important to, to me and my family. So. And you have just one baby? Yeah, this is Ty. He's our only, only one, but we'll probably have, you know, more children. And so those are things that will be important to us. Well, that makes a lot of sense, schools being a very important issue. I'm here with John Borges, a new Burbank resident. What issues are facing Burbank today, in your opinion? Uh, well, um, I don't have any kids, so uh, I don't really, um, I don't, the, uh, the education issue that's affecting all of Southern California hasn't affected me personally yet, but um, I, uh, I would assume that's a, that's a huge issue okay. for, you know, people around here. Absolutely. And you're enjoying the Chandler bike path. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I, I really like Burbank. I actually have fibbed a little bit. I've been living here for a few years. Oh, I, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I, um, I love it here. I, I love the neighborhood. I am here today with... Onik Hovanesi. Onik, what issues are facing Burbank today? What is important to you? Well, to me, the, the first thing probably is the environment uh, in Burbank. You know, how uh, the, also the economy, of course. Uh, the behavior of the bad boys uh, that turning into good boys, uh, the police department. Uh, you know, I like this path here because I come and uh, bike, and it's probably one of the best, not only in this city, but uh, I say the whole Los Angeles area. So this is one of the best bike paths that you found in Los Angeles. Yeah, exactly. It used to be like a very rundown railroad type of thing, and. In no time, uh, I think this city is very well organized, to, to say the, the least. I'm here today with... Oscar Prado. Brianna. Emma Prado. Emma Prado. And this lovely family here. Uh, what issues are concerning you today in Burbank? Well, the only, the only issue really that concerns me is sometimes there's still a couple of drivers that, you know, don't respect the bikers sometimes, especially mm -hmm. when we have kids. You know, um, that's the only one, but uh, Burbank's a beautiful city. Other than that, it's just amazing. It's like a little suburb within the city, which is great. Well, that's really nice to hear, but I absolutely agree with you on the bike issue. What's uh, affecting you today? Um, just the same thing. Yeah. Just the car is not really watching out for you as much. And you? Pretty much the same thing, because <laughs> Burbank is a wonderful city. That's the only issue, pretty much. Wow. Yeah, Burbank. Wow. A family that ha shares all the same opinions. That's really nice. Yeah. Uh, so how long have you all lived here? For about a year. A year? Yes, but we kind of, you know, always been around Burbank. So, yeah. Well, yeah, no, it's really nice to meet fellow Burbankians. Yeah. I am here with... Doug Christopher. And Doug, what do you feel like, what issues are facing Burbank today that you're concerned with? I think a couple of things, um, mostly with expansion. One of them that has affected us uh, would be the mansionization laws, which were passed earlier in the, in the last decade, which... Um, I think could be too generally applied. For example, if we're trying to expand our house from the traditional Burbank cookie cutter 1200 or you know, 11, 1200 square foot house to let's say 2000 square feet and get some room, um, you know, there's certain limitations that bring you in from the side that uh, from your yard line uh, that make the house smaller and, and kind of mm -hmm. crimp your space. I think that's just one of them. Um, another would be, of course, the traffic. And we all deal with the traffic and the expanding Burbank. We're seeing that um, with the bike lanes, you know, we've kind of brought down the, the, the amount of flow that we can get. So I think traffic's always going to be a big issue. So that's, that's something. Um, we love the bike path, so Burbank's doing some great things. We've got some good bike paths, we've, uh, uh, and, and definitely attention to that. Uh, and then I think the, the reputation of the police department, I think rebuilding that's a, a real big deal because the Burbank Police Department's always been so, um, so good, so responsive, um, and so caring for the local community uh, that, you know, a little bit of tarnish um, over the past couple of years, I think rebuilding that reputation's something.
And I think they will rebuild it, and I think they are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for your concerns. I think it's really important that other people get to see what other Burbank residents are concerned about. And by you expressing it, they're, they're gaining more knowledge, too. Well, thank you for doing this. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. Hi. I'm here with a local Burbank family. Tell me your names. Eric Stoliker. Kathy Stoliker. Nicholas. And this is Charlie. Okay, so as Burbank residents, what issues are facing you? What is important to you today? Well, the one thing I don't like is Verdugo being made uh, into a single lane road. It makes uh, traffic really hard to just even get across the street now. Yeah. yeah, I know that's a very frustrating issue. And Kathy, anything on your part? Uh, no, I like Burbank. Yeah? Yeah. And tell us, you got Charlie at the Burbank shelter. Yes, I did. I love the Burbank shelter. Uh, it's so clean and everyone's so nice. Um, and I'm happy to have Charlie. Aww. He's really made a big difference in our family. Oh, that's nice to hear. What do you think of Charlie? I think he's very great at running. <laughs> and he, I like this dog very much. <laughs> great. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Hi, I am here with David Burgess. And David, what issues are concerning you today? Because you're a Burbank resident, we would like to know. The intersection of Burbank and Victory at Costco. Because if you're turning left off of Victory onto Burbank, you can we've timed an eight minute wait. An eight minute eight wait? Minutes. Yeah, if you hit it on the yellow, it's eight minutes. We timed it because we've done it a bunch of times. Yeah, that would be an issue. Any other ones that are piquing your interest? Not really. Burbank's a good town. There's a lot of traffic. The traffic's uh, ridiculous in the afternoons. That's why I ride my bicycle around because it's a lot easier to get through traffic. Yeah, well, biking is really great. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Well, we just finished up our first segment of Man on the Streets, and we found out that there are some concern with Burbank residents, some traffic, some other issues, but for the most part, the reviews on Burbank were pretty positive, and that's a really good thing. So thank you for watching. I'm Deborah Dodge with BurbankAndBeyond.com.